We're talking music with some of Namibia's biggest stars. He started out a couple of years ago, young boy from Ochuarongo, and now we are talking about a music video that has reached more than 2.3 million views, and we dropped a brand new video. Yeza, what it do? What up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm chilling. You're chilling? Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel? You know, you released your music video, and you know everybody loved it. It was all over the clubs, every bar, yeah. and now 2.3 million views. Yeah. Um, for me, that's amazing, man. But um. I don't really process it. I don't think about it that much, you know. Mm. Um, for me, it's just on to the next from here. Beautiful. Yeah. Body do. Mm -hmm. We took it to the informal settlements. Yeah. Why? Because, yeah. um, I mean, that's the only place, that's the only location that can suit the song. I feel like everybody can hear the sound, you know. Um, it has to give that, uh, show that African descent, that Namibian descent, actually. So, a lot of people say, no, it seems like you're in another country, but this is Namibia, so... Yeah. yeah! I mean, it gave me something from Central Africa and the choreography in the video, the style behind the video, Havana? Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful there, actually. It is beautiful! Yeah. But how was it working in Havana for the music video? Um, it was a hassle because, um, obviously, people are, you know, it was Chayla time at the mm -hmm. time. Um, so people knocked off and so everybody had to go to their houses and stuff. But like, it was a whole crowd, so we had to get people sorted, like people to shift back. Yeah. But I loved it overall because the people were showing love and they showed support, yeah. I want to take you back a little bit to when you started your career. Because yeah. I was one of the people that gave you your first interviews yeah, on radio. Yeah, actually, yeah. Young boy from Machuarongo, we are talking Rolls Royce. <laughs> and now, you know, you enter a place and everybody, you know, you need to be on every show yeah. lineup. Yeah. How, how does it make you feel and did you even expect your music career to go as far as it did now? Yeah, I actually did. Um, for me, I just feel like it's still progress to, you know, because I have to set the bar and the bar has to be set higher than this. So um, I'm still, it's still work in progress. So I'm excited. I love it. And I thank God for it every day. It's a blessing in my career, but uh, we got to keep going. We Being young going. in the industry, what do you think it takes to stay consistent? Um, just enjoy yourself, man, and make music that makes you happy. I feel like. Because a lot of people try to feed into the genres that are in now or um, into what people say, like, no, you should, mm. I feel like you should do this, do what your heart tells you, I feel. Yeah. 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 Your music is compared to music from Central Africa. Yeah. Can we then expect Yeza to go over the borders of Namibia? Or are you planning on keeping it strictly nah, at home? definitely going over borders. And um, I'm not planning to stop anytime soon because uh, my dreams are bigger than this. So. You guys should expect me to be outside there, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I definitely, I pray to God every day that um, this is the journey I'm headed for. Mm -hmm. yeah. What can we expect from you then? A lot, a lot of music videos. Um, I have an upcoming song also with, uh, with Jalil, with Ian Lovely. Lovely. So yeah, that's going to be a lovely tune. Um, I can't wait for it to be out, yeah. But there's a lot coming. It's bumpy in the music industry though. Yeah. Because it's yeah. not always roses. We, we are seeing you in the limelight. Mm -hmm. But what is actually happening in the back? And what are some of those lessons that you have learned? Um, I just stay to myself actually. Um, I try not to mingle a lot, you know, even though I, um, I'm a people's person, but I just stay to myself and I just do my thing, you know, go to school, mm -hmm. do whatever I gotta do and yeah. But you gotta mingle. Yeah, I do, right? You gotta mingle I with other artists. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. It's just I stay home most of the time. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people don't really see me. How do you juggle between school and music? Uh, eh, it's, it's not easy, especially now that the career is taking off. So, but I'm trying, man, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually coping, so I'm proud of that. So mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes from here. The music scene, any young person out there that wants to follow in your footsteps, the next Yeeza, whether they're getting into the same genre that you're doing or yeah. I'm a piano, what advice would you give them? The ugly truth. Give me the ugly truth. Please don't sugarcoat. Hey, guys, <laughs> do you, I keep saying this, and do you, I say do you, it sounds so blunt, but like, it just says be yourself all the time. And being yourself is the, it's like the most powerful thing you can be, you feel me? So, um, for me, I, I just enjoy my music, man. Uh, mm. I just enjoy making music, and I don't really have no motivational speech. But, <laughs> hey, man, do you, do you guys, do you? We're dropping the big album in September. Yeah, yeah. Who are you featuring on the album? What can we expect? Ooh, I don't even want to mention it. No, you need to mention it. Okay, can I, do, can I mention one? <laughs> two. Just two? Give me two. Okay, I'll say Gaza. Your manager is looking at me like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, say, I'll, say, I'll say Gaza. Yeah. Um, and, um, um, Gaza and eh, I have an international artist on the way. Okay, are you working with any new artists? 
any new artists, not not yet, not yet, because okay. we didn't get to that stage of the album yet. So mm -hmm. we're still exploring our options because we have a few songs already. So, but we still have to get to that stage, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. How does Body Do make you feel right now? Uh, it makes Is it feel giving you what it was supposed to give you? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely because it's um, I, I made this song really funny because I was just in the garage and then it just came up. It's I, I listen to a lot of Whiskey, yeah. so I get a lot of inspiration from that from them. So. I mean, and I'm a lover boy, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I make I make music strictly for the hands. <laughs> so yeah. Speaking of being a lover boy, yeah. who is Giza loving with? Is Miss Gideon the lucky girl? Yeah, that's my girlfriend. Love it. I actually interviewed her on Wednesday. She was like, my mama's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank but you for was, confirming it. I love speak it. On it. We don't speak on it too much, you know. Yeah. yeah. But how is it going as two people in the music scene, being no. a couple? We we were a couple before the music stuff, okay. so it doesn't really bother us. We just do our thing, go mm -hmm. home, and then that's basically it. We don't really awesome, do awesome. Yeah. So Yiza, just give a message out to your friends out there, everybody that's rooting for you. Yeah. It's a camera. Yeah. Hi guys, um, I just want you guys to please stream Badi Do. Mm -hmm. Please stream Badi Do, and please, 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 please. Tonight we're having a show at the Loft. I need you guys to pull up today, man. All power station, 100 bucks at the gate. You guys won't be disappointed, I swear. We're so proud of you, and thank you yeah, for putting so Namibian music on the global map. Always, always. We're absolutely here for you. I got you. Yeezer are coming through with Body Do, an album in September, as well as more entertainment. So keep check on his social media platforms. Don't kill me anymore. I gave you the answer. He's taken. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Spend money on you like John Gatti. Hey, I never lie, me, I'm not happy, no. Hey, believe in my honesty. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Show me, show me what your body do. Show me what your body do. Can be running after you.